I'm extremely flattered, but nonetheless very delighted that the Wildlife Conservation Society should have chosen to honour me. I'm only sorry that I can't be with you. I have known of the Society as the New York Zoological Society for a very long time, and I can tell you exactly how long, because this book was published and given to me when I was eight years old. It has the magical title, Half Mile Down by William Beebe. And William Beebe, of course, was the scientific director of the New York Zoological Society. And he pioneered exploration of the deep sea in a way which made my boyish heart miss a beat. It was thrilling. And this was followed by Beneath Tropic Seas, The Arcturus Adventure, Pheasant Jungles, and then when I started myself to explore the tropics, I went to what was then called British Guiana, and now Guyana. And what did I choose as the handbook? Why, of course, B.B. Hartley and Howe's Tropical Wildlife in British Guiana. And there on the front was the bird which we made one of our chief objectives, the remarkable Hoatzin, which has claws on its front wings. So B.B. has always been uh, a stimulus and excitement to me. And then, of course, I became a naturalist, or did my best at any rate, uh, and became aware, as the world changed, that the New York Zoological Society also recognised the disasters that were overcoming the natural world and started to do something about that. And, of course, then another great explorer, zoologist star, appeared on the horizon. And his name, of course, was George Schaller, with this epic, The Mountain Gorilla, one of the great books, that first drew the world's attention to this marvellous species. And that was followed by lots more, including another book on the tiger and this more recent one on the panda. Both those figures have loomed very large in my life as models of excellence and pioneers who I could do my best to emulate. Today, of course, the New York Zoological Society has another name, the Wildlife Conservation Society, for it has recognized in a pioneering way the catastrophes, the man-made catastrophes that are overcoming the natural world. And now it is one of the most impressive, the foremost organizations working to save the world's wildlife. So there could be no greater award, as far as I'm concerned, than one which comes from you. Thank you very much indeed.